My name's Jake. Uh, I served four years in the United States Marine Corps, served in Iraq in 2007 in the Anbar province, and then in the Helmand province in Afghanistan in 2008. It starts from the moment you kind of step foot in Iraq. Um, two weeks into my first deployment, um, we hit an IED, um, had a couple guys injured, one guy killed from my squad. That kind of sets you down the path for um, you know, what the deployment's going to be like. And, um, you know, things didn't really slow down for us there on that first deployment. In Afghanistan, with the sniper platoon, um, you know, that's, that's different because you're going out and, um, you're, you know, you're not getting in, uh, you know, major firefights um, as often. But the difference is that, you know, you can look through a scope and, and, uh, and you play God, largely. You decide who walks away and who doesn't. Um, and that, you know, that's mentally and emotionally very draining over the course of seven months. Coming back, you, you kind of, you lose the, the brotherhood. When I got out, you know, guys from my team, guys from my platoon got out largely around the same time and everybody kind of scattered. Everybody went back to their hometowns. Very few guys kind of stayed around in the same region and suddenly you go from having this very tight-knit group uh, that you trust with everything, that you share everything, and that you've been through everything with, and now suddenly they're just gone. And so you find yourself in, in a new environment, a new community, and you have really no one that, that you trust like you did just months prior. And for me, that was the, the hardest part. My family, when I came back, said that I was you know, a changed person. And I, you know, I couldn't tell it. I didn't know. I, couldn't, uh, I didn't know what they were talking about but they told me on a number of occasions that that was the case. And I think it's just something that you have to accept. If you go to war and you do two deployments and you see everything that a guy in the infantry sees, if you're not changed when you come back, then there's something wrong. That's been the case with war for thousands of years. Um, but I, I, didn't, I couldn't see what they were talking about. I was a lot quicker to anger. Uh, I still am. I find myself getting angry over things that I really shouldn't be. Generally, I'm able to control all that, but I can feel it kind of welling up inside. You know, just this, the smallest, simplest things will get to me and start to trigger things that, you know, aren't that bad, aren't that dark, but just make me angry. I've had difficulty sleeping. Um, you know, there's just some days that are worse than others. Um, I can't really say how often, but there are nights when I just can't sleep or that, you know, I definitely wake up in cold sweats with, you know, nightmares and stuff like that. I started uh, to see the VA for, you know, a couple of physical issues, um, saw a counselor while I was there. I was, I was encouraged by one of my friends who had, who had been in my sniper team to go and see a counselor. It's very hard for a veteran to identify or admit that they have some sort of weakness, but you have to really change how you think about PTSD, how you think about the issues that you're dealing with coming back you know, from overseas. It's not a weakness, it's a normal reaction to all the abnormal stuff you had to do. I think PTSD is an overused term. Um, I, I think that uh, often veterans like to think that they have the market cornered on PTSD. Um, PTSD isn't just a phenomenon of war, it comes from car accidents and poor childhoods and you know, abusive households. Um, so I think it's one of those things that you kind of have to expect going in that you're going to come out the back end, um, you know, with you know, a changed mental outlook. Um, was I surprised I was diagnosed with it? Um, yes and no. I mean, I don't think that my battle with PTSD is, is life altering. I don't think that it affects my quality of life. Do I have it? Absolutely. I'd be, wor I'd be more concerned if they told me that I was perfectly normal. I'd feel like a sociopath. You just, you need to find someone that you can talk to, someone who can identify with what you're going through. And it doesn't have to be a veteran. Um, it often will be, but it doesn't have to be. And just find someone whom you trust and, and just talk about it. Just, they don't even have to say a word. All you have to do is just talk and all they have to do is listen.